Good morning, wonderful people. Hi. Today, I want to talk about our stories. Um, in previous videos, I spoke about habits and where they come from and um, the fact that they come from our stories, the things that we tell ourselves. Our stories is our meaning that we make of the world or of a particular situation. Um, we have been making meaning ever since we we're in the womb of our place in the world of everything. We are a meaning-making machine. Kids do that all the time. Um, so basically I want to talk about our stories today because our stories are very, very, very indicative of who we are. They are also indicative of the decisions that we make. But most importantly, they are indicative of the things that we see or don't see. In recent um, yeah, months or years, I've been looking into different studies by professionals and um, intelligent people in the personal development branch, especially the scientists, um, and how the brain works. And there's something that I notice which is rather profound is that the brain creates blind spots for us. And these blind spots are dependent on our stories, on the present paradigm that we live in. So for example, if you live in a paradigm of not enough, not feeling enough, of not feeling deserving of anything good or more, then of course you're going, only going to see things which keeps you in that paradigm. All the opportunities, they're going to pass you by and you will not see them. Um, recently, I, put, I posted a, um, a photo on, on Facebook. And this photo was of so many different animals which are, which are mounted onto each other. And so you can't really see them well, but there will always be one that pops out to you. And for me, I saw a rooster. Immediately I looked at it, I saw the rooster just pops out at me. And I showed it to a friend and immediately a dog pops out. And I was like, what? Did you see a dog? And he was like, yeah, I saw it. Listen, there's a dog. And even when he was pointing to me that there is a dog, I still didn't see the dog. He saw the dog, I saw the rooster, and he didn't see the rooster. And I was like, whoa, that for me was proof that we are focused on the things which are important to us in a particular time. Basically, that photo was to show that our brain creates blind spot, and the things which are relevant to us, we see them. And because a rooster has so many meaning and dog has so many meaning, which are a part of our skill set at that point in time, we tend to see different animals which are associated with the paradigm we're living in. And when I look at his character, because when you read about the dog, it's very loyal. And when I look at his character, it couldn't be more spot on. He is hugely hugely loyal person very dedicated very loyal and when i look at the rooster's character i was like oh my god <laughs> they are reading my life so the things which are relevant to us we see them and the things which are not relevant to us we don't see them but why does this happen it's because of the story that we're living in the story that we tell ourselves of who we are and I do believe that we can change our story if it's not serving us. I do believe that we can, we can tell a different story. And how do we do that? You know, some people recommend meditation and also affirmations. But it also takes a coach to help to guide you or to help you identify all of your stories. Because someone outside of ourselves see us better than we see ourselves. And so that's why it's important to work with a coach. Because our coach helps us to, hide, to identify our stories. 
um, that's basically what I want to say today, that our stories are important. Um, they are not right or wrong. They either serve us or they don't serve us. And um, that a coach help us to identify our stories because sometimes we live in stories that we don't even know that we're telling ourselves that story. And it keeps reaping the same results over and over. And until you have someone that points it out to you that, hey, is it because you believe this about yourself why you keep getting that result? Check this. Why don't you do it this way this time and tell me how you feel about it? And oftentimes when you don't feel good about it, then that's probably the right time to, the right thing to do. Because your feeling is trying to keep you in your story as well. Um... So that's basically what I want to talk about. You know, I do these videos um, not only because I'm a coach, but and whether or not you want to work with me, that's fine. But I also do them because maybe it might resonate with someone out there. And if it resonates with you, if you learn more about yourself and gain more insights into who you are and how you can change, then for me, that is my success factors in doing this video. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.